a group of women in Arizona's wine country is working on a special project to create a wine exclusively made by women. On your side, Susan Campbell has their story. Since the beginning of winemaking all across the world, the industry has been dominated by men. So this girl's wine is a way to empower women, and not just women in wine. This is Syrah 525. The grapes here at House Mountain were grown by women. And then I just kind of like, you know, lift leaves back. And they're being harvested by women. 16 of them, some first timers, some picking pros. At some point when you work with the person across from you, you get into kind of a dance where we kind of zigzag and so that we're not exactly across from each other, just enough that I can kind of cut my fruit, she can cut hers. They're all volunteers, led by Gail Glomsky. We've worked a whole season, so from about January when we started pruning, um, we have cared for these vines. Now is the moment where the vines are given back. Catch. Giving back just like these women who've come together for a special project to create a wine made exclusively by women. It's something that doesn't happen often. It's a male dominated industry. Linda Rachel owns a small vineyard and tasting room in Cottonwood. From the water to the wine, you're involved with every step of it. And I love that about it. You're married to the seasons, you're married to the vines, you're married to the product. According to Zipia, just 18% of winemakers are women. All we're doing is asking for the same education, um, the same like uh, experiences. It's more the recogn recognition of equality. Ultimately, the grapes from these two rows will end up producing 77 cases of wine. It's girls wine in French, so it's called Vin de Fille. 2020 was the first girls wine vintage. They have a 2021 vintage too. They were incredible. Um, I, you could only expect something really great to come when you put a lot of good energy into it. But Mother Nature didn't cooperate in 2022. Last year we got frosted and so it wiped out our, specifically our girls wine. Uh, we had no grapes, so we had no wine. That's what makes this harvest especially satisfying. You pick a bottle and you're drinking it. It was a year of hard labor to make that wine. It's a labor of love, but don't get love confused with romance. It's very romantic. Everybody wants to own their vineyard and work outside. Uh, the reality of it is not that. It's very hard work. Hard work that's empowering women here in the vineyard and beyond. When the wine's ready to be sold, you'll be able to get it at Page Spring Cellars in Cornville. Proceeds will benefit the Verde Valley Sanctuary, which supports survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault. The volunteer group also hosts a vintage release party to showcase its girls' wine. The first year raised $25,000. The second year raised $40,000. The event is happening this year, October 22nd and 23rd. Tickets are still available. I'm on your side, Susan Campbell. Susan, thank you. And while